I wish Majority Audio would stop making affordable gear. Today, we're looking at the D80 bookshelf speakers. Look at that, look at that. It's like a little wee egg. So these speakers are more for on your desk, on your shelf sort of situation where I have my D40s actually mounted to the wall because I think they look better like that. These little things here may look small, may look cheap, but I can tell you now they're, they're better than them. They are better in some majority. Ha! Audio, get it? Majority audio. In some majority, they are better than the D40s, but in my eyes, I see the D40s as sort of like the, the overall winner because they just look good, they sound good, and they do what I want them to do. Where these, these have a bit more functionality to them. These are more equipped with a few things. So let's start off with a build. Yes, they are plastic, but it's like a very durable plastic. Most speakers you get are plastic anyway, or they've got vinyl covers like the D40s over there and you've got your little tweakers at the top here, little tweaker at the top, and then your main speaker and sub in there. Then you get the little, obviously, the little sub hole at the back there to allow more bass to rivet through them. On the back of this one, you just get the little speaker in to then come over to this one, where it has all of the functionalities on the back. You do obviously get your controller here, but the controller is limited with some things like it doesn't have your treble, it doesn't have your bass. It's only got certain equalizers on there like movie, music, dialogue, and things like that. You get your line in, your USB, your opt, your arc, your BT, which is Bluetooth, your volume up and down, your arrows left and right, and your pause and play button, and then mute and on and off. That's it, that's what controller does, not really much to it. Where on the back of the speaker, there's quite a few other things on there. So you've got your bass, your treble, and your volume, all on the back three knobs here. Then you've got an on-off button and an equalizer button here, which I'm guessing goes through the same three modes of movie, music, or dialogue. You've got your line in for the aux, a USB 2 slot, and I believe an optical connection. I've never used them, I've never seen them really, so I don't know much about that. You've got an ARC HDMI input there, a speaker out, and then your DC volt input and that is everything on the back. So the back of these speakers have way more accessibility than the controller itself, unlike the D40s, where the controller pretty much does everything that you need it to. These again are Bluetooth, are plug-in, they're play, they're whatever. You know, they're super easy. They do look a bit, in my opinion, they don't look that aesthetically pleasing compared to the nice square box shaped ones over there. These sort of look too eggified. If you've ever seen the kids program that used to come on My Parents are Aliens, they used to have these sort of odd shaped appliances. That's kind of what it reminds me of, where it's like a weird alien shaped thing. Don't, don't get me wrong, they sound great, they're affordable, but it's just, the look for me, I'm not too keen on the look, let me tell you now. And the controller, it's lacking that functionality of having the treble and the bass buttons like the D40 is. So let's talk about the dials on the back real quick, because the volume has a clicky feel to it, okay? So it's like tick, 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 where the treble and the bass is smooth. If it was me, I would have made them all smooth so the volume wouldn't have had this weird clicky tactile sort of feel to it. I would have made it all smooth and have this little analog like on the top so you can see whereabouts the volume and everything would be. Because yeah, it just makes it feel a bit cheaper when you've got this sort of clicky tactile feel to a, a knob. When it's smooth, it feels very high quality. But other than that, I mean, I can't fault them. Now I don't want to say I won't be showing any audio coming from these because in any video showing audio will never sound the same as what I can hear compared to what you hear so I don't want to jeopardize the company and make it sound like they're terrible because these are really good speakers and they will work with anyone in their business or their field so gaming, music, content creators or anything like that these would be perfect for you. But if you want to check these speakers out there's a link in the description I'll let you guys go down there to check the price out as well and while you're down there hit subscribe, like and notification bell why not it's free but if you have any other questions about these products or any other video out there please leave in the comments and i'll get back to you with an answer but other than that capture create captivate that's what we've done and i'll see you all in the next one